Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing another winter sewing tutorial. This one is about watering your winter sewn jugs. Do you water them? How do you know if they need to be watered? And how do you water them? I'll tell you all that here on Garden Jen's Journey. Now when it comes to watering your winter sown jugs, generally they are a set it and forget it type of process, but sometimes you do have to help them along, especially if they're getting dry and they need some water. Just like any other plant or seedling that you might have to take care of, you do occasionally have to check in on those jugs and see if they need a little help. I'm going to take you out to my garden and show you just what I mean. Okay, so here is the jugs I have out right now, and they will work for demonstrating watering your winter sown containers. Do you water your containers? That's a question uh, I hear a lot. And uh, generally, the rule of thumb is you're not supposed to have to. These are self-contained greenhouses, and if you've done everything correctly, you should not need to water however things happen and there's times that you actually need to step in and water your jugs and that's okay I'm you know things happen so how do you know if you need to water your jugs well I'm gonna show you um, or at least tell you I don't think I can show you but I'm gonna tell you three things that you want to look for when deciding whether or not your jugs need to be watered number one condensation on the jug and I'll see if I can uh, pick it up on the camera to show you what I'm talking about here so if you see this jug here it's got a lot of condensation in here and generally that's a good sign that lets you know that actually you have enough water in here and you don't need to water your jugs so that's a good one you see this jug here does not have hardly any condensation in it so you definitely want to check this jug so how do you check a jug that doesn't have condensation what are you looking for or maybe your jug has some condensation but not a lot what are you looking for well you're going to look inside your jug actually look inside it look in here and what is the color of your soil? Is it light or is it dark? And you can see in here that my soil is quite dark, which means it is moist. Now, if it was very light, that means that the soil has dried out. Uh, you can also gently pick up your jugs. Um, if you take them correctly, they should pick up just fine, but you gently pick them up. How do they feel? Do they feel heavy and dense or do they feel very, very light? If they're quite light, then you probably need to add water. Okay, so how do you water these things? Do you open them back up or something? No, you don't. You actually keep them closed and you water either through the top or through the bottom. Now here's some things that you can use for watering your jugs. I, I have all of these items. Um, you can use a standard garden nozzle as long as it has multiple settings. You want either the shower setting or the mist setting. You don't want a heavy uh, stream because that could damage or disrupt your seedlings and seeds. So a fine mist or shower setting is necessary. You can also use uh, your sprayers. I have a, a one gallon and this is a one quart. Um, they have adjustable uh, nozzles so you can get that fine mist setting. And these nozzles actually fit right into the opening of the jug so it works very well that way. 
Um, if you like to save time and you like to do multiple jugs at once, I have a trick for you that I use myself quite regularly. So this is what I use. It is a shallow tray. This is actually a nursery flat, but any shallow plastic tote will do. Um, you want to make sure that it's at least an inch, two inches uh, deep so it holds enough water. And uh, with these nursery flats, I can fit three jugs in it. And I generally put about an inch of water in here. And then I let these jugs sit for about a half an hour to 45 minutes. And then I will come back and check on them. Um, if they have soaked up all the water, um, I will check them, check the weight, see if they uh, still need some more water. If they do, I will add some more to the tray and let them soak. But if they've been soaking and I still have extra water left, left over, that's just fine. I will take these jugs out and maybe rotate them with other jugs that I need to put in. I'll, I will just take this extra water and either water a potted plant or pour it back into my container to use for another day. So yes, you do have to water your winter sown jugs from time to time, but it's quite easy to do. So I hope this video was very informative and just gave you an idea on how to take care of those winter sown jugs. If you liked it, if you found it informative, give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might need this kind of information. I thank you for following me along on my winter sewing, gardening, homesteading journey. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and be a part of the journey. We do lots of things here on the homestead. And I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye.